in the NBA for many years. That in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with a grizzled group on the floor? And, and Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. Vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look, and we should see a clean game here tonight. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. A sheer little out there with Devin Booker, and it's Nurkic in at the center. Part of a dying breed, let's say. Evita Zubats is a traditional five. Is that okay? We can say that, right? Lives in the paint and not on the perimeter. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Fantastic look from Durant. Such an underrated playmaker. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's KD after the Clippers pick up two. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Booker's got five now. And dangerous at all times from range. Booker shoots threes at will. And there's the pass to man. Here's Leonard, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. KD sets the pick for Booker. Down low. Here's KD. And then Durant with the jam. Now Devin Booker, a shooting guard that does have some point guard skills. And here's Harden for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Harden's got his second bucket. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. Now here's Booker. He's got five. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And you talk about explosive scoring. Wow, Devin Booker, Brent, one of the most explosive players of all time. So awesome to watch him when he gets rolling, Kevin, and that can happen in like three seconds. Uh, he's got such a great flow and control of what he can do offensively. And by the numbers, Kawhi is one of the most efficient three-point shooters ever. Durant with a screen on Hart. Pass to Nurkic. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. KD drives in. And KD throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Leonard, the pass to man, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. I like to see Leonard's ability to dish the ball off the screen and roll. It's becoming a huge advantage for this team. And Nurkic has it in the corner. Durant against Leonard. James Harden with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by five. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And there's the call on Durant. That's foul number two for him. On defense, Phoenix. Harden left side. Fires the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. At the little, pass to Durant. Nurkic is screen on Leonard. And KD, here we go. That's a big time finish. KD dunking all over the defense. Here's Harden. There's the drive. And the jam by Harden. 
love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Mm -hmm. Plus, Sun shooting their first free throws of the game. And the first free throw is good. You know, you think about it. In 2015, a dozen teams passed on Devin Booker. Got to be tough for those front offices to watch him play this way. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Here's Booker. James Harden picking up that last basket. Booker. Durant kicks to Nurkic. Booker outside. Second chance shot. And the rejection by Zubats. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And then Durant with the jam. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Oh, get up, James. Talk about a guy who scores. Oh, and he oh, beat it. Did they just do that, Kevin? They just did that. Yeah. Your cover. Wow, what a way. To the scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. The Clippers on top, up by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. Uh, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. We've got Drew Eubanks. Grayson Allen is out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Bates Diop in at the four spot. Phoenix calls timeout. Suns trail by three. Now here's Allen. On the wing, Lee lets the three fly. The basket good off the assist from Allen. Lee's got his first three points of the game. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Allen. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And a big part of Gracie Allen's value is his ability to space the floor. Well, I'd say that's his biggest utility offensively is that he goes to find the gaps in the offense. He chases space, and he's capable of knocking them down. Here's George. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Well, keep it or dish it. Those are the decisions Paul George is trying to make, and he makes the right one there. Beal deciding where to go with it. Oh, good with the triple. The Clippers in the lead. Right side, George. And it's George finishing it off. Just cutting right there to the spot he wanted to get to. Paul George being very aggressive on that play. Westbrook against Allen. To the inside. And he uses the glass on the lane. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Tucker a screen. Andrew Eubanks gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's George, and it's Paul George with the finish. Well, not only looking at Paul George get up, look at the guys on the bench loving it from PG. Deal against George. Takes the three. Here's Bates Diop, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. 
And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Well, the height and the length really helping PG get that one off. Suns trail by four. Now Beal. Going inside. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, have you settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Here's George. Got it. Good job in the low post. George has got 12 points now in the quarter. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And, Kevin, we, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes you play the five. But with MVP level season, two guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, GA? Thank you, Kevin. We all know Achilles' injuries used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. And now Wilkins says KD has really taken hold of this and become the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. Westbrook scanning the floor. Passes to Primo. Now George. Just five to shoot, and it's George finishing it off. Always a formidable score. George just doing what he does. 36 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Lee outside. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. And the Suns here with a different look. Norkic checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for Kata Bates-Dion. Nasir Little, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And it's Devin Booker in for Grayson Allen. And taking a look at the L.A. Clippers, Brent, a team that just keeps coming up short, unfortunately. Well, the Clippers have definitely been more competitive lately, and it's kind of like phase two for them with this group. They still haven't been able to get over the hump. And they have some work to do. Oh, great find there from Harden. He's just so good at finding his teammates in rhythm. Timeout called the Suns. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Stolen. Got it off in time. And that one released in time, but no good. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for Los Angeles. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. He, he's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lou's going with. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubas. Norman Powell is out there with Harden, and it's man in at the three spot. Shot clock at five. Harden kicks to Powell. No good from outside. 
there's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. For three, Booker, Durant, wide open, he fires. Good, and a nice assist from Booker. Durant's got the lead up to one now for the Suns. Harden the pass to Zubats. Kicks it out to Harden. There's the pass to Leonard. To the wing on the left. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. That's a two from Powell. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And, and you can tolerate gas like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Here's Booker. 12 points for him. Beal's shot is good. Beal loves to fire off the catch. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. KD against Leonard. It's Powell on the wing. Outside Leonard. And he gets the whistle. Two free. And yep, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the previous plays. Make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, after the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Fast the action really is, and and how hard it can be sometimes. You know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Here's Booker, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Well, I like when Devin Booker's decisive about forcing the action. It's clear the defense is respecting his ability to score the ball. So, Brent, thinking back to the 2020 bubble, the Suns went 8-0. and uh, Clearly the springboard for that group. Yeah, amazing, Kevin. The team had missed 10 straight playoffs, and a lot of talk was made that that time in the bubble help them to come together in ways that next season they weren't going to be denied. And they made the finals in 2021, and the franchise won 64 games in 2022. So the Suns are as bright as ever. And Booker puts up a deep three. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Well, any time that somebody scores, Devin Booker's the first option. He comes back and drills that one. Kicks it out to Leonard. The tray. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. And a deep three from Booker. Another three for Phoenix. Well, Booker being assertive on offense when the defense isn't playing him tight enough. He's taking full advantage. It's Harden with the drive. And Harden with the stuff. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. The defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Clippers trail by six. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Booker, good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And Booker, no fear at going to the basket. He's got the size as a two guard to do that. And a deep three from Harden. A three-pointer, no good. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Oh, KD buries the three. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. 
And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. No good from Booker. Clippers trail by eight. And here's Harden, who's got 19 from beyond the arc, and then some. Harden's got 11 points in the quarter. And as long as Harden's in the building, he has the confidence he can make it. Booker with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Back to Booker, puts up a deep three. Here's Nurkic. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down, but true contact, he'll head to the line. And that's a smart foul there. Instead of giving up the easy deuce, send him to the line. That free throw, no good. When you think about Nurkic, seven foot, 300 pounds, when he gets around the rim, who's going to move him off that spot? 17 seconds left to play here in the third. Harden with it. He's got 22. Takes it inside. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Phoenix Suns with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Shooting the... While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. On the court now for the Suns getting going here in the fourth. Sear Little out there with Grayson Allen. Then it's Bull Bull. And there's Gordon, and it's Eubanks in at the center position. And that's, it's what? close, but, you know, Side didn't out. get on balance quick enough. Bull, the pass to Allen. Shot clock at six. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Back to George. Here's the three, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. And George, a volume three-point shooter, he possesses outstanding confidence and leans into that perimeter game. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Bull, and he lays it straight in. Bull's got four points now in the quarter. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Little. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And that one's good, Eubanks. And it's a six-point Phoenix lead. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. To the left side wing. Island passes to man. Driving in, has to pop. Here's Mann, defended by Gordon. Mann gets the bucket. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And the Clippers time making out, a change here. George is checked in. Phoenix calls timeout. <laughs> 
James Harden. He's checked in for Highland. And the Suns here with a different look. Yusuf Nurkic. He's checked in for Eubanks. Durant comes in for Bull Bull. Kogi's checked in for Gordon. And it's Booker in for Grayson Allen. Here's Nurkic. Good. A nice assist from Booker. 280 pounds. I think Nurkic is well within his means to score past contact. It's Powell on the wing. Booker against George. Rolls it down if the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. That's why you turn to Paul George. These moments are for PG. Beals jumped in for Mr. Little. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Here's Booker into the lane. And the dunk by Booker. That's got to feel good. A guy who can score stepping up and hitting buckets as important as that one. The shot by George wide open. There's three pointers off the mark. You know, the ill advised threes isn't how you want to close the gap. They've got to have better shot selection. And here's Booker from the arc. The offensive rebound. Nurkic kicks to Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Now Bradley Beal, that's some nifty dribbling there. Clippers trail by seven. And George, here we go. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And George drops them both. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Booker outside. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got three assists in the game. George against Booker. In the corner. Harden. For three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. Nurkic a screen on Leonard. Outside for Beal. Booker with no one around, and he's good on the three ball. And now a 10-point Suns lead. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for Phoenix. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Devin Booker. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. Paul George entering the league in 2010. I mean, he's been as good as any two-way wing in the league, cementing himself as an all-NBA level player. Here's the Clippers. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. Yes! One of the best closers in our game. James Harden coming up big. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. George against Booker. To the paint to get it to KD and dunk. Well, we've all seen it. The mobility, the wingspan of Durant. Seriously, how are you going to stop him on an alley oop? Harden. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Nurkic. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. A narrow win under difficult. RIDA, thanks again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks.